All right, just real quick, uh, for some of you interested in juicing and uh, wondering what's going on, uh, I'm going to show you a few things that you can juice, a few things that you uh, might like to try first. Uh, spinach. We're going to load that into the uh, juicer. Probably a little bit, another handful. You want to try to get it compact if you can, especially if it's uh, kind of in water like how I have it, like a ball. You're going to have a ball, make it a ball, because you're going to have healthy juice at the end of your efforts. Okay, so we'll turn on the juicer. Switch hands. And uh, we'll use this. So right there, you just push the spinach out, and it's extracting. We had some beets in there, so that's kind of why it's a little red. And that's the waste product. What that does, it takes, this thing turns, there's some razor blades in here, and it pushes out pretty much a waste product, because what you're trying to do is get spinach as a juice. It does come out a little foamy. We'll uh, try that one more time. Put some more spinach in there. It's easier with two hands and not trying to film something while you're juicing is pretty helpful too, but it can be achievable. So and grab this one and this one. Just kind of pack it in there. Some call it like packing a pipe, but I just said pack, pack this to it. And just squish it down. Kind of comes out drip, drip, drip. It will be kind of foamy when if you're just doing spinach and that's the byproduct so it's important to use something kind of hard say a beet so, let's see what a beet looks like in the juicer oh son of a gun hey get away from that dog so oops my uh my ramrod fell on the floor. It looks like I'll have to wash that off. Is it the end of the world? Absolutely not. And you know why? Because you could take something like a carrot and push stuff down. So we'll try that. You want to either use the provided ramrod or the uh, something like a carrot. Something... You don't want to put a stick down there, because you'll tear up your uh, augmenter. That's the thing you see turning. It's made of porcelain. You might crack it. So real quick on the beets. Uh, it comes out much more like a fluid than the spinach. I'm going to show you one more time. It's like a piece of beet. Like that. Pack it in there. And you can see it will uh, drip out a lot more. It'd be more fluid than foam, unlike the uh, uh, spinach. Well, we're at it. Let's go ahead and push carrot in. a few carrots in. There, there's one more. Just see what a carrot looks like. Going through the juicer. And it's going to have a lot more, a lot more juice than the beet. And your opponent is going to have a lot more uh, waste product too. But again, I think carrots juice excellent in this machine.
Apples. Let's see what apples. What an apple does. I feel like I also put in another carrot. Well. Carrots are, or apples are kind of mushy. You don't really get a whole lot of juice out of an apple. As a matter of fact, after after kind of an apple, you'll run a, want to run something hard like a carrot, a beet. I only, no, well, that's a lot of fluid right there, but as you can see, it gets a little foamy too. Now, I would have to say, the least of these vegetables I like is coming up. I don't really like celery, but some of you do. So let's go ahead and run it through and see what that looks like going through the juicer. comes out pretty good too, but I don't really like the taste of celery. That's why I got to put a bunch of other stuff in there before I juice the uh, celery. So, thought I'd just uh, show that to you guys. I know this video is a little long, but uh, it would probably help out folks who are beginning juicing. Thanks for watching.